Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Friday, November 20th, 2020. Good morning, everybody. Friday, November 20th. My wife's birthday today. She's 55. If you guys could wish her a happy birthday in the comments, I would be so grateful. Good morning, everybody. Let's start today off with a blessing, shall we? Dear Creator, dear Universe, dear Spirit Guides, please give us a blessing for this Friday, the 20th of November, 2020. A blessing for us, the collective, to hold on to this day. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at the mesa and the trees. This is the Namaste blessing. The divine in me acknowledges the divine in you. I bow to you and honor your inner light of pure and unconditional love. Eternal peace be with you. Eternal love be with you. Eternal joy be with you through this serendipitous blessing. Namaste. That is such a beautiful and gentle Loving blessing. Let me read that one more time. The Namaste blessing. The divine in me knowledge, acknowledges the divine in you. I bow to you and honor your inner light of pure and unconditional love. Eternal peace be with you. Eternal love be with you. Eternal joy be with you through this serendipitous blessing. Namaste. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy we got this blessing this morning. We need this blessing. We need to acknowledge each other. We need to acknowledge the divine, the, the light that we carry in ourselves and when we meet each other. That feeling of knowing when you meet somebody and you, your, your spirits click, that is what this blessing is all about. It is about that heart song, that, that internal connection that draws us one to another. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, I've got lots of questions today. I'm going to start off um, kind of where I finished on... Wednesday. I kind of missed a couple of people on the indictments, so I'm going to start with that. And the two that I'm going to ask, are they going to be indicted today, are going to be uh, Mnuchin and Rudy Giuliani. Um, we haven't done Rudy in a long time, so we'll, we'll start with, let's start with Mnuchin, because I have a feeling uh, the story about uh, Rudy Giuliani is going to be interesting. So, dear Tara, please, will Steve Mnuchin, oh, cards got squirrely, will Steve Mnuchin be indicted? Will Steve Mnuchin be indicted? And in, I see his face uh, in my in my mind's eye, and what is it's 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 like a a comparison to uh, Mr. Moneybags on the Monopoly game. That's who he that's who he fancies himself to be is Mr. Monopoly, Mr. Moneybags from the Monopoly game. Will Steve Mnuchin be indicted? Will Steve Mnuchin be indicted? There we go. Will Steve Mnuchin be indicted? Here we go, guys. First card we get, here's Nancy. Oh my goodness, she's looking at him. There's something, something's going on. Queen of Wands, crossed by the Six of Cups. This is the happy childhood, happy family. This is uh, retirement, having, having enough. Above is the devil. Oh my goodness, force, fatality, um, evil. This is a bad omen. This is a bad omen. Let's see if it happens again today. Um, the fourth card for Steve Mnuchin. There's our answer. We get the six of rods. We get a yes on Steve Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin will be indicted. 
and I have a feeling he's going to be called in front of the house by Nancy, by Nancy Pelosi. Right now, he thinks everything is groovy, but it's not. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the last two to get the six. Below, we get the Queen of Cups. This is a fair, um, generous, loving woman. Okay, so this could be, this is below him in his recent past. This could also be um, a female attorney, but it's not a sword. So this is a, let's, this is a fair, honest woman. And the last card, um, he's, he's wanting to escape right now. He's thinking about it. He's wanting to. And guys, I think this is a theme. I have a feeling a lot of these guys that, that know they are facing prosecution when Trump is, is no longer president will attempt to free, flee the country. This is his future influence. I believe Steve Mnuchin is going to try to, he's either going to try to flee the country or he is thinking about it because yes, he is going to be indicted. The evil is coming after him. The devil is on his back and Nancy Pelosi is in his rearview mirror. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's read on Rudy Giuliani now. Will Rudy, will Rudy Giuliani be indicted? Now, Rudy Giuliani has broken, I mean, in broad daylight, he's broken, oh, at least 20 laws that we have seen. Um, so, including, well, he's been lying to the public. And a position, uh, an official, official cannot lie to the American public uh, without being held accountable. So, will Rudy Giuliani be indicted for the many crimes he has committed? Okay, here we go. Will Rudy Giuliani be indicted? Will Rudy Giuliani be indicted? Okay, here we go. First card out, we get the Knight of Cups. This is uh, coming in with, with news. This is, uh, let, me, let me read you this card. The, the Knight of Cups is a rival approach messenger, advanced propositioning, demeanor, and invitation. This is a rival. Something is coming for Rudy. Um, it's coming for him. He's lost his support as well. Rudy Giuliani is, is this is the, literally, he is the last ditch effort for them to do something. Trump has run out of money. Legitimate lawyers are refusing, are refusing to, to, to put their, the, their, their names or their company's names and reputation on the line for Donald Trump. Okay. People are leaving them in droves. Um, it's almost a mutiny going on, guys. But this the question is, will Rudy be indicted? But I had a feeling Tarot's gonna tell us a story about Rudy. So let's let's indulge. Let's 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 see the story. Above the third house, what is above Rudy Giuliani is the base. This is the two of uh, the, the lover's card. This is Trump's base. This is and Rudy Giuliani is a part of this base. He's not a ruler. He is part. He is one of the sycophants for Donald Trump. Um, this is his connection to him. The fourth card, we get the Eight of Cups, the walk away card. He can't do that now. So if there was an opportunity for Rudy to walk away from Trump, it has passed. It is gone. That opportunity is fleeting. But this is in his distant past. And he was silent for quite a long while. And now he's been brought up. If you remember, Rudy went radio silent after the inauguration, after the impeachment, because it was Rudy who literally got Trump impeached. Um, the f fifth card, the recent past. Here's Donald, the King of Cups. This is the moneyed king. This is uh, Donald in his, in his, as he is right now. This is the businessman. This is him thinking about money, about getting money, about maintaining the power that he needs. And that's where Rudy comes in. 
Donald Trump knows that he doesn't have a snowball's chance of winning this. I told you guys months and months and months and months ago, he is burning down the house. He is breaking all the norms. He is destroying our democracy as he leaves. So, all right. So don't think that what he's doing is is to try to actually stay in power. He knows he's he knows he's lost. He and he's not doing this by himself, guys. Okay, the sixth card on will Rudy Giuliani be indicted? Before I go too far off, we get the four of pentacles. Because this is all about the same thing. This is all about protecting assets. So this is hoarding money. This is a hoarder. Rudy Giuliani is also not a rich man, not, not by the standards of New Yorkism, okay? He's wealthy. He, he, he's, well, well let, me, let, me, let me change that. He's rich, he's not wealthy, okay? There's a difference. Wealthy is the billionaire class. Rich is the th thousand, hundred thousand heir to millionaire class and that's where Rudy Giuliani falls in but he already knows that he is facing a significant loss he has gotten ill-gained uh, money all of these guys have Mnuchin everybody in Trump's cabinet has been compromised believe this they have been systematically compromised so none of their hands are clean none of them uh, Trump made sure that every one of them will go down with the ship with him. The the seventh card for will Rudy Giuliani go to uh, be indicted, we get the, the moon. What's done in the dark will be illuminated. It will come out in the light. This is hidden hidden secrets. This is hidden enemies. Um, and he has a lot of them. The eighth card, the environmental factor. We get the nine of rods, the belie battered and beleaguered, the tired the worn out soldier. This record is scratched. It's been overplayed, okay? We are at the end of everything that's happening. The next 40, um, the next 40, 50 days, however long it is until inauguration, we're going to start to see the fracturing the severe fracturing as people try to get away to distance themselves from Donald Trump. The ninth card, the inner emotions, we get the two of wands holding the weight of the world in his hands. He is, he's concerned about what he's doing and what's going on. And the 10th card, the final result for Will Rudy Giuliani be indicted, we get the Six of Pentacles. We get the cheerful giver, okay? What we did not get, we didn't get a yes, though. We did not get a yes. Let me check the bottom of the, oh, look at there. Look at there, okay? This was at the base of the pack, and the next card out is the fear of moving forward. So what this tells me, that this is at the base of the pack, is that there is, a, there is a chance for him, but it will be further down the line, okay? It'll be further, it's further away. It's not coming right up. So there is a possibility that Rudy Giuliani will be indicted, but if he is, it will come later. Okay, my next question is uh, from V. Coolwater. And V. Coolwater's question is, um, are the Republicans res uh, being helped by Russia or Russian money? And I kind of going to ask this question as a two-parter. And I'm going to add in, is Russia directing Trump's action? And I, I'm going to ask this question this way, because what's being done with these electors and things like this, this Trump is not a politician. Trump does not study uh, politics. He is flying by the seat of his pants and he is relying on people like Stephen Miller and other aides of his to direct him uh, as to what he should be doing. So somebody who knows what's going on is helping uh, Donald Trump. So the question is, are the Republicans 
receiving Russian money or help? And is Russia directing Donald Trump? Okay. Is let's let's do the first part. The second part first. Is Russia, is Vladimir Putin directing Donald Trump? Is Vladimir Putin directing Donald Trump? Is Vladimir Putin directing Donald Trump? Here we go. First card out, we get the seven of pentacles. Waiting, uh, waiting for his harvest, waiting for things to mature. Crossed by, there it is, the two of cups. This is the partnership between Putin and Trump. There it is right there. Tarot has said it. There is a direct partnership between uh, Putin and, and Trump. And it is a give and take. Above, look at this. We get the tied and bound. This is this is what is above uh, Trump's head. The question is: Is is Vladimir Putin directing Trump? We get the Eight of Swords. This is the you're going to jail card. Okay, the fourth card, the distant past, and our answer. We get the World card. Okay, Vladimir Putin is directing. Trump. Everything that's going on right now is at the direction of Vladimir Putin. Let's go ahead and pull the last two. The fifth card. <clears throat> the recent past events. What's what's going to happen for this is the end of a cycle. This is the Republican. This is the Republican happy family card. This is the end of the cycle. Okay. This is the end of the road for Donald Trump. The future influence. We get the three of wands. This is the last card I'm going to pull. Donald Trump is waiting. This is him waiting for his ship to come in. This is him waiting for uh, his next directives from Vladimir Putin. Um, Terrell has told us very clearly. Donald Trump is in cahoots with Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is directing Donald Trump's steps. Donald Trump. Will is facing prison, imminent, is facing, this is above his head. Prison is hanging above his head. All right, we got our answer for that one. Okay, next question is by Danielle R. Her question is, when will the election be certified? Um, I can't remember what the lady's name is that's holding it up. Um, but when will the elect when will the election be certified in Washington uh, so that uh, President elect Biden can start on his 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 uh, administration? When will the election be certified in Washington? Spirit guides, please. When will the election be certified? In Washington, I'm seeing a calendar. I am seeing December 4th. That is the date that I am seeing in my mind's eye. I'm looking at a calendar right now. It says December 4th. Tarot, please help me. What? When will the election be certified? I don't think I got my card. It. It. The tarot gave us an upside down yes, and it is. An upside down Ace of Wands. Let me read this to you. The Ace of Wands is creation, invention, enterprise, birth, family, the beginning of an enterprise, money and fortune. That's upright. In reverse, this is a fall, decadence, ruin, uh, clouded joy, okay? Crossed by. The question is, when will the election be certified? Crossed by temperance. The balance card. Temperance reads, economy, moderation, and frugality. Management, um, Mo wait, economy, moderation, frugality, management, and accommodation, okay? 
This Taro is telling us. Taro is telling us. Okay, this one is still a yes, though. Yes. So if you guys are w wondering whether the election will be certified or not, yes, the the election is going to be certified. Um, things will be uh, moving back into balance. Uh, this is the accommodation. This is what uh, President-elect Biden is not getting right now. What, the goal or destiny, what is above? We got the spy in the camp. The, the spy in the camp, the page of swords, okay? There's more information that's going to be coming out. Like I'm telling you guys, Trump loyalists are going to start abandoning him. They will start to walk away. There is no path to victory for him. There is only tearing the fabric of this nation apart. And that's what they're working on right now, okay? The fourth card, the distant past, we get the crossroads. And again, the question is, when will the election be certified? Okay, my mind's eye. I saw December 4th on the calendar, but we'll keep pulling. The, the fifth card, the recent past events, we get the high priestess, which is uh, interest. And our first numbered card, we get the five. Now, I said the fourth. Tarot is saying, is giving us a five. The five. On the, oh, my goodness. Okay. So, guys, I am going to, I am going to say that this, the, that the election will be certified on the fourth and on the fifth, Donald Trump should, may, maybe concede his loss. Maybe, but that's what I'm going to say right now. That's how I'm going to call this one. All right. But regardless of when it happens, Terrell has given us a yes. The, the election will be certified. Okay. My next question is from Danielle R as well. And... Oh, um, this one is, will Michigan certify their election on Monday? So this is a yes or no. This is Danielle R. Will Michigan certify their election on Monday? Will Michigan certify their election on Monday? Will Michigan certify their election on Monday? Will, that's the day they're supposed to. Um, will Michigan certify their election on Monday? Here we go. Will Michigan certify their election on Monday? First card out, we get the Queen of Swords, okay? Now, the Queen of Swords, this is a widowhood, female sadness and embarrassment. Okay, but this is also the legal system. This is the legal system for me. And we got legalities coming in from all directions. Okay, we get the Knight of Swords. Let me go over here. I have a feeling we're going to have to stay in there. This is skill, bravery, capacity, defense, wrath, war, destruction, resistance, and ruin. This is a yes or no question. So we're looking for a yes Otherwise, it's going to be a no. What is above? We get the King of Wands. This is not Donald. This is a fair man, a loving, honest man. I like to think this is Joe Biden, but since he's not in this question and he is not president yet, um, he has no power over this. So I don't believe that's him. The fourth card, the distant past. We get the Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness, we got anxiety. Uh, we've got distress. We've got headaches. The fifth card, we've got the Hanged Man being forced to see things in a different perspective. The sixth card, we get the Queen of Pentacles. We get the Queen of Pentacles. This is uh, the Queen of Pentacles is opulence, generosity, security, and magnificence. The seventh card, we get the Seven of Cups, the Illusion Delusion card, the Now You See Me, Now You Don't. Oh my goodness, things are, things are, there is 
treachery afoot. The eighth card. We get that walking away again. We got people laying down their weapons and walking away from their leader. The ninth card, the inner emotions, we get the ten of pentacles, the end of a cycle. And the tenth and final card, we get the seven of wands fighting off of oppositions. Oh my goodness, guys. Something may happen on Monday. Let me check this. the next card. We get the Queen of Cups and the bottom of the deck. We get the Five of Cups. Okay, guys, we're going to have to watch Michigan on Monday. Okay, I am not getting a yes that, they, that the election will be certified in Michigan on Monday. Um, that there may be a delay. There may be a delay. There's fighting. There's anxiety. Um, there is legal. There are legal issues that are going to be brought up. So, guys, look out for another last-minute uh, case in Michigan before the before their uh, election is certified. So, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say, Danielle, no, I do not think, I do not believe that Michigan will certify their election on Monday, and I believe it's going to go to court behind it. Okay, my next question. This is from Snoopy and Woodstock, and their question is about Hope Hicks' health. Um, she has been missing in action since the since the debates when she tested positive for COVID. And uh, news outlets had said then that she was very sick. So we're going to just do a read on Hope Hicks' health. How is Hope Hicks' health? Spirit guides, please speak freely through me. Here we go. How is Hope Hicks' health? And we got that five of swords again. Hope Hicks may have, may be one of the people who has silently laid down her her weapon and fealty to Trump and has walked away. That's a possibility on why we haven't seen her. And you guys saw me shuffle. I got the ten of pentacles. This is this is money. This is an end of a cycle. She could have been paid off. She she could have been paid off to maintain her silence. And she may have exited uh silently, guys. This is what I'm this is what I'm feeling. The third card. We get the fighting off of op opposition. Um she was she was tired of fighting against um the administration or or fighting for herself. I feel like she was fighting for herself that she saw the the uh the uh improprieties and th when she got sick i think maybe that was the last straw for her the the fourth card the future the distant past we get the hierophant <clears throat> now the hierophant is uh marriage and alliance um seductive mercy and goodness this is also the juxtaposition between government and religion. I don't see that so much as her, but this could be with having to do with, because this is a marriage card or an alliance card, a partnership card, that um, someone close to Hope Hicks, a boyfriend, a lover, a love interest, um, may have something to do with why she is... It, it seems like Hope Hicks is, has left Yes, she has left the Trump administration, and she did it quietly. Um, and it seems like a love interest may have had something to do with that. Isn't she dating? She was dating one of those wife beaters that left, I do believe. The, what's below her, we get the, 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 the eight of swords. The, this is the imprisonment card. This is her recent past events. 
it's possible that, that she may have left because she was in fear of being implicated and going to prison. The sixth card, the future influence, we get the fool. Oh my gosh, the fool. Uh, folly, mania, extravagance, intoxication, and frenzy. This is interesting. This is about Hope Hicks' health. The seventh card, we get the two of pentacles. There was juggling going on, too much juggling. And I'm feeling between her personal life and what she was expected to do for the White House. I feel like she was only brought back because Trump enjoyed her presence. She was his second Ivanka. Hope Hicks was Trump's little boo thing. He, he had a old man grandfather crush on her, but for whatever reason, she was trying to balance too much. She came back for him and for Ivanka because he felt like he needed her. She could keep him calm. She had some type of an influence over him. The eighth card, we get the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a fair young man, a renderer of service, a renderer of service connected to the asker. This is telling me that the reason that we're not seeing Hope Hicks, and I'm not seeing that she's ill anymore, guys. So I don't believe that she's gravely ill anymore. I believe that Hope Hicks has got herself a new man who, who, has, taken, who has taken a good interest in her um, that is trying to, to, to steer her away from trouble. And I believe that she has walked away from the Trump administration. Okay, the ninth card, we get the Page of Wands, the opulent heralder. This is the one that's coming in screaming to the rafters, good news and, and, and uh, money. I believe this is, this is what her, her job was, okay? This is what she was to Trump. She was his happy voice. She was the one telling him everything would be okay. And the 10th and final card, the final outcome, is the emperor. So I know this was kind of weird, but what I'm getting on this one, um, Snoopy and Woodstock, is that Hope Hicks has recovered. Hope, Hope Hicks has recovered from her COVID illness and she has slipped away into the darkness out of the White House. I believe she has already, she has already left and the COVID, her COVID uh, diagnosis was the vehicle that allowed her to literally slip out the back door without Trump having to explain anything, especially since he's not being reelected. So nobody's asking those questions. Okay. My final question, and this one's a good one, guys. My very last question is about Jared and Ivanka. This question, have, have Jared and Ivanka already fled the United States? Are they already in hiding? They have pulled their children out of their private school. They have not been seen or heard from in quite a while. Jared Kushner is definitely going to be indicted. And they're gone, guys. They're gone. Have Jared and Ivanka already fled the U.S.? Here we go, guys. Have Jared and Ivanka, Trump, already fled the United States? Has Jared and Ivanka, Kushner, Trump, fled the United States or gone into hiding. Has Jared and Ivanka, that's a better question. Have Jared and Ivanka gone into hiding? And guys, I, I, I honestly believe Donald Trump is already in hiding as well, okay? I kind of feel that. I kind of feel that. Um, and, and look out for body doubles. Look for those, look for those uh, little 
the weird hair color, the weird uh, uh the weird skin color. Um, look at look at the differences in Trump. We know. I I have a feeling Trump is going to try to pull a Machiavelli. But here we go. Last question: Have Jared and Ivanka already fled the country, or have they gone into hiding? Oh. Card jumped out. We get the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is a, a woman of a, a opulence, generosity, security, and magnificence. Crossed by the Queen of Cups. We got two queens. The Queen of Cups is a good, fair, honest woman, a, vision, a gift of vision, success, happiness, wisdom, and virtue. The question is, have Jared and Ivanka already fled the con uh, country? We get the three of cups. This is a yes, guys. This is a yes, the faded triangle. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The fourth card, the distant past. We have the devil. Okay. This and, and if you look at these two, these these two are chained to the devil. They are, they cannot get away with it from him because they're their destinies are intertwined. And that makes me think there's a third person that is in hiding with Jared and Ivanka. And it could be the, the Donald. Okay, the fifth card. The recent past events. We get the fear of moving forward. The fear of moving forward. The scaredy cat horse. The sixth card. On have Jared and Ivanka already fled the U.S. We get the five of cups looking at loss. Looking at loss. Oh my goodness. The seventh card. There's Donald. The seventh card of the questioner. This is uh, to put them in their proper perspective. Ivanka is, is Donald's pride and joy. The eighth card. The environmental factors. We get the emperor once again. The question we we've got our we got a little yes. I'm looking for a little bit bigger of a yes. Um, we get we get the eight of swords again. This is the prison card. So again, tarot is telling us these guys are these guys know that there there's indictments coming. They know they face prison. Guys, last card. We get the death card. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Tarot said it. Yeah, yeah. We got death, the devil, and prison on this one. They're not going to die. They're in hiding. They're in hiding trying to stay hid because they know they are going to prison. Oh, my goodness, guys. Yes. Uh, if Jared and Ivanka haven't already fled the country, they are already in hiding or trying to um, obscure themselves. So I'm going to say that they, that they are already in hiding that they are already, they pulled their children out of school and nobody's heard or seen them in quite a while. All right, guys, this has been Tea Time for Tanya for this Friday, the 20th of November. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Change is coming. Be ready. There's no need to panic. Hold your light, hold your truth. Be good, do good. Dream of the future that you want for us, for our country, for our children. I love you, I love you. It's our turn, guys. The fight is in our corner now. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye, guys.